Hi, my name is Rose Fungpo. I'm from Malfunga and um, I run a coffee shop and also run um, fitness classes at the at Del Fiver Gym. And I'm also a mother of five, so I think that's one of the most important jobs. I was born and raised in Auckland and um, only went to university for a year and then just got into the hospitality industry. I've had over you know over 20 years experience in in the catering, um, catering and cafe in industry, and I got into the the health and fitness industry, and um, and then alongside that, while I was pregnant, and got um, group fitness and uh, personal training and certificates, and then just working in the gyms, and um, and that's where I got my life experience. You know, just uh, doing personal training um, while I was having the kids. first thing I do in the morning. So I get up at four in the morning um, and it just gives me time to, you know, like, um, it was sort of just read a devotion for the day and, and then, um, and just, and, and pray. I always, you know, me and my husband always pray, just thank God for, for the day and, 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 and also just to guide the, our kids in our day and then um, head off to the gym, try and do my workout at five. And then we got either a boot camp or classes at six in the morning. And then after that, have to come to the cafe, just um, just check up, see if the setup is okay and the girls are all right at the cafe. And also have a coffee fix before we, um, before the rest of the day um, starts. And then go home, get the kids, you know, sorted, drop them off to school, and then. Um, and then come back to the cafe and, and just work uh, work here till about work till about sometimes two till or two um, pick up the kids from school, go home, rush home, get dinner ready, then back off to the gym, get some um, do some training, and so finish from the gym about six thirty in the evening. Come home, have dinner with the kids, sort the sort out the stuff for the next day, and then. I think I'm, I'm crashed, um, I'm in bed by nine o'clock. The health and wellness industry, that was a, that was a, I think that was a personal thing for me because my, um, my auntie who I was really close with passed away um, with breast cancer and I think it's 20 years ago now. And my family, they're all, you know, we have a history of all the um, NCDs, like diabetes, cancers, my grandfather, grandmother, um, aunties and uncles have all passed away with cancers. And, uh, and, you know, and I guess I just have a passion to help educate people on how to, how to live a healthy lifestyle. You can't look after you your own family if you're not physically fit. So I've, I come from a, um, a family of eight, there's eight of us, brothers and sisters. We're all really close and I guess, and you know, um, everything I do here pretty much is for them, you know, is for, is for my mum and dad, you know, just want them to be proud of me and, and, and I'm doing it for them too. Zero tolerance to violence. <laughs> it should be done. Like, yeah, primary school, man. It, that's where it should sort of, you know. I, I think you know, just the little bullying part where the little fighting and stuff, because it makes it okay for them to go home and, and still like fight, be violent. You know, it's just little things that I think need need to change. Is is back. In, it's in primary school. First of all, it's finding something that you're good at uh, for for a business. You know, find something that you're good at um, and and have a passion for, and something that you can do consistently. You know, um, and if it's a job, something you know, like if you're studying at school and you want to and you want to be a singer, but your parents are giving you know 
um, making you study to be a, a lawyer or an accountant. It's great to have that on the side, but you know, pursue what you want to do because it's in the end it'll make you happy. I probably wouldn't because I think the journey that I've been on has really made me grow and um, and yeah and, and you know I think and one of the things is you know just really taking on all the negatives all the challenges and, and learning and really learning from it and really just you know picking everything up and just um, and doing it it's what made it's what what's made me you know where I am today I think there's a lot of them that think they're not they're not good enough and and you know and then like there's two extremes there's like there's women that have a certificate you know who have a bachelor's and and that are confident but then you've just got you know you've got the ones that didn't make it you know that they haven't haven't been through the or you know the universities or had had the education you know for them they've got other gifts but having them think that they are confident I you know get some workers that come in and it's like it's just teaching them that you know they can be whatever they want to be they just need to be confident and know that they are beautiful you know them that they can do they can do things on their own <laughs>